Okay, so this is how I do it. So you need the tuck it over and over. Excuse the bird. You're going to take equal parts this and water. And then you're going to mix it up. Make it kind of milky, runny type of glue. Okay, so... Then you are going to, please excuse the mess on my table, I'm doing lots of different crafts. So what I did for the pink one is actually the pink, this pink one had the one from yesterday, this glitter with a white spray paint on the cup. I'm going to do the pink one with the same glitter and hope that it's a little darker. And I get more of this result. So this is the where I got my glitter from. Okay, so then you're going to take your brush. Let me do this a little more. And then you're going to cover as much as possible. Try to get some of this off. So you put some on top like this. And then you just kind of spread it evenly take as much as you can off of here and then go down you want it evenly see these white streaks they gotta go they can't stay there um, just continue the way I do is just continue until the brush is dry and then go back and pick up some more of the wet and then do it again off to the side you don't want you do not want these stripes because when you put the glitter on, it's going to bunch up in those areas. And then you'll have the, the streaks, I'm sorry, stripes. So, Okay, as you can see, I still have some streaks. But you have to continue, continue until they're... You'll still have them, just try not to have super thick ones like these right here. Excuse my feet. I'm trying to do this standing up. So you just keep going and trying to bring down. It will start drying on you, which is fine because the tacket is actually meant to stay sticky. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> trying not to show you all my big feet okay and then you keep going taking off whatever excess you can see right here come back go one way and I go the other way sometimes on the bottom but you need to try and take off but spread as much as you can around the cup See right here where it dripped. You want to spread that out too, just to kind of get an even coat. Okay, still working on it. Pausing and going with the video so I can kind of work on it my own way. find it easier if you just work on the little strips or the little streaks and then eventually you'll get a smooth surface okay I'll be back okay so still a little streaky but it's better than what we had before which is fine for this little spot right there so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna let it dry about 10 15 minutes until it's clear the white will turn clear and that's when you know it's ready and then yeah so still gotta get some of these bigger ones out you will have some streaks I mean it's not 
inevitable, but so long as they're not huge, it'll look okay. All right, so like I said, let it dry 15 minutes. You guys have to excuse me. I am really not good at making tutorials. And right now I have my phone on top of a cup <laughs> so I could take this video. Okay. All right, back when it dries. So I'm letting it hang on another spray bottle. Letting it dry. Once it's dry, I'll come back and put the glitter on it. Okay, while I'm waiting to dry, I just wanted to show you how I apply the glitter. You don't want to put too much because then you'll be wasting too much. So if you're going to use a little salt shaker that I added, my Hollow Pixie Dust. Uh, they are, I don't think they're called Yaya's anymore. I think they're called, um, I can't remember. I'll find out eventually. Um, but this is where I got the glitter originally from. Sassin class or something like that. Anywho, but you want to use this method instead of the spoon to dump it on there because you don't want a whole lot of glitter on the cup itself because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be laying the glitter down flat. So basically I'm going to be rubbing some of the glitter off. I know some ladies use, in the videos that I've seen, some of them use um, a, a strainer, like a tea strainer or something like that. That's fine, but some of the glitter for me doesn't... It, I tried it, but it didn't work for me because I guess my strainer has the small, the holes are too small. So this was the next option and this actually worked for me. So in, we'll come back and we'll do the, the glitter. Just need to dry the cup a little bit more. Okay, so now as you can see, there's no more white on the cup. The glue is dry, but it's still tacky. So... That's why we use this one. It's called Tack It Over and Over from Eileen's or Aileen's. Um, basically, it's supposed to help, like, you can put stuff and then remove it. But we're not removing this. So you're going to get the glitter and you're just going to lightly dust. Lightly dust. Try and cut, get as much coverage as possible, but don't put too much glitter. As you can see. Can you see? Ramsey's helping me video while I do this because I needed both hands. <laughs> so you're lightly dusting the cup. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you have a piece of paper under to catch whatever falls off. So just make sure you get all the little areas, any pink that you see from the cup coming through. Okay, and then just keep going around and around. And you're not putting too much, but you're putting just enough to cover up these little areas. Okay. And continue. I just lost a little and then don't forget the bottom of the cup right here so you're gonna do the same thing little 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 sprinkles here and there just to make sure you get it off so what I do because sometimes you can't really get the edges I kind of do this number to it just to get the edge okay now I didn't put the glove on, but you can put a glove on. It's up to you, whatever you want to do after that. Then you're going to take your fingers, a finger, one finger, two fingers, whatever you want to do, and then just start rubbing the glitter in. See? So what you're doing is you're rubbing it in and you're laying down the rest or what little is sticking to the glitter. See? And then you continue all the way around see flat not flat flat 
not flat and then you just keep going okay all the way around Almost done. Just keep flattening it out. I've got to work them in like that. And keep going. You can put on gloves. It's up to you. I don't usually do it, but that's just because I use my gloves for the clear coat instead. Keep on doing it. Be very careful though, because sometimes if you do it a little too hard, it'll lift up and then you'll have a splotch of no glitter. And it has happened to me in the past. Renty. <laughs> Chewy, just, a, just a cup, baby. Excuse my mess in the background. As you can tell, my table is full of arts and crafts stuff, and that's what I. This is where I work. Okay. Uh. Okay, so that's that. And then we'll do the bottom. You can go back and forth. You can go around. Just you're laying the glitter flat. So. So this is the same glitter that I used on the cup the other day. The only difference between this one and that other one, let me grab it, is that with this one, I used a white base. So it was spray painted white. And this one, as you saw at the beginning of the video, was spray painted with a pink base. So... Even doing it with a black base, that would make it a different color as well, even though you're using the same glitter. So, and that's it. You just let it sit for, I like to let it sit overnight before I do anything with it, just to make sure that the glitter is dried off. And then, like, tomorrow, I'll put one coat of, of epoxy on it, and then I will, I will, um... Put on the decal after, or decal, or however you say. I say decal, sorry. <laughs> See the nice little shiny, shiny to it? The pretty rainbow on there. And then the bottom has the same thing. But like I said, this one is the pink base, and this one is the white base. So it just depends on what you do and how you want to do it. But I think this one came out pretty too because of the, the pink and that's it. You're done. Basically, um, you can put a, the clear, a clear um, what do you call it? spray paint. You can go buy that, spray paint it, let it dry, do at least two, maybe three layers of it. And then you can put it on your turner so that you can cover it with the clear coat, with the resin to seal in your work. So, and that's it. That's how you make this cup. Thank you. Thank you, Ramsey, for helping me. You're welcome.